The dangerous and unusual weather is making holiday travel harder. Wednesday's rain and fog disrupted plans for thousands of airline passengers. And already this morning, more than 200 U.S. flights are delayed and more than 70 are canceled. It's happening as for the first time, more than 100 million Americans are traveling for Christmas and New Year's. Mark Strassman is at Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson Airport, where the getaway rush is definitely underway. Mark, good morning. Good morning. This airport, the world's busiest, will process 750,000 travelers this holiday season. That's through January 3rd. But it's America's roads that will see the biggest surge. Wet weather caused delays and cancellations to heavily booked flights, making it difficult for some passengers to get home for Christmas. Pretty frustrated, very angry. USA Today travel correspondent Sharice Jones said passengers could also see heightened security and should plan ahead for longer wait time. TSA is not saying that explicitly, but given what's happened in Paris and San Bernardino, there might be a little bit more scrutiny at the screen points this year. I think I've never seen a line like this in all my years coming to O'Hare Airport. It's very, very crowded today. Nearly one third of Americans are expected to travel through Christmas and New Year's, a new record for the U.S. The reason? Gas, gas, gas. With the average price of gasoline just over $2 a gallon, more than 91 million travelers will drive. Robert Sinclair Jr. is with AAA. This is the cheapest gas that we've seen in 81 months, roughly six and a half years, and people are taking advantage of it. The air travel tracking site flightaware.com has the latest uh, delayed numbers. Almost 2,000 flights today could be delayed. Maybe 267 flights canceled. So if you're traveling, if you're picking somebody up, remember, call ahead. Benita? Oh, it's the news nobody wants to hear. Mark, thank you so much.